We've had a narrative at the last couple of estimates, and again today, that we can't refer to NSC because it might breach some kind of national security. Um, the Prime Minister himself, in the last few months, has stood at media conferences in Indonesia and talked about NSC meetings, the witnesses have appeared, the topics that they have discussed. We've had him refer uh, preemptively to upcoming uh, meetings of the NSC. We've had him refer in articles uh, where he's obviously briefed journalists such as um, Mr Sheridan uh, to the frequency and nature of NSC meetings. So can I just put on the record my objection to this narrative, which actually is not transparent in terms of civil control over the military. It obscures unnecessarily, and to my mind, and given the Prime Minister's demonstrated record, unnecessarily uh, information that is pertinent to the Parliament's scrutiny of the Department of Defence and the executive's um, administration of that. I don't need a response. I just want that on the record because I think the demonstrated conduct here is not consistent with the example set by the Prime Minister and it's not consistent with the expectations of a democracy. Senator Fawcett, um, you didn't ask for a response but I will provide one. It is long-standing um, in Senate committees to accept that discussion of matters before Cabinet and its committees may not take place in a Senate estimates environment and that was true under the former government. Uh, it is true here. And Senator, I, again, um, not in <coughs> direct reply to you, my point simply was PMNC is the organisational owner of support to that committee structure. It is PMNC's, from my point of view, uh, place to advise of dates of committees when and if appropriate. It's not for my, it's not for me, it's not a uh, <coughs> aberration of the military seeking to uh, avoid scrutiny. It's PMNC's committee, it's PMNC's uh, responsibility. And I, as I said, refer the senator to PMNC. Your, your point is a fair one, CDF, but Senator Fawcett's is an important one. And yes, the reality there is that the Prime Minister chooses <coughs> to cite NSC meetings, timings, and even content when it suits him, and then to avoid even confirming whether or not a meeting has taken place, also when it suits him. Senator Birmingham, it's a very political point that you're mm -hmm. making here, but as I've explained to you, uh, the government observes the long-standing convention in the estimates context where matters that have uh, been before the Cabinet and its processes and its committees are not for discussion in this environment. So, Minister, I'll just conclude with this. Um, you're right, matters in terms of details, but there are multiple examples of this committee under both sides of politics seeking to understand when decisions were made, not the nature of the decision, uh, not who was involved necessarily, but when, uh, and that issue of timing has been explored time and again, including when matters have gone before the NSC. So I just want to make it clear that I don't accept the narrative <coughs> that has been put forward, and I don't want that to become part of practice of this committee, because that is not what it's been in the past.